That's what the Bible says. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. That's what the scripture says. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says he came to his own, but his own received him not. But as many as receive him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God. Even to them that believe on his name. The Bible says we are all children of God through our faith in Jesus Christ. Through our faith, not through our works, not through us turning from our sin, not through us repenting of our sins, not through us doing works of righteousness. Through Jesus Christ, through what he did on the cross and our faith in him. That's how you become a child of God, is by trusting Christ as your savior. That's the way you become a child of God. And that's the only way to become a child of God. That's the only way to be born again. To be born into God's family, to become a child of God. The only way is through Jesus Christ, by you putting your faith in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. And then Jesus explained how one is able to enter the kingdom of God. How one is able to see the kingdom of God. Jesus explains, you have to believe. You have to believe that Jesus Christ is God. You have to believe that God became a man and died for you on a cross and rose from the dead. You have to trust Christ as your savior. That is the way you enter God's kingdom. God did all the work. It's not what you do that saves you, it's what you believe. You trust Christ as your Savior. You trust in His death on the cross to save you, and God will save you. It's not what you do that saves you, it's what Jesus did on the cross 2,000 years ago. That's what saves you, folks. God became a man. He gave His life for you on a cross. He allowed His body to be broken. God shed His blood as a man upon a cross for you and for me. He did this for you out of love. God demonstrated his love for you. God didn't only say he loves you. No, God came down, he showed you he loved you. That as a man, God gave his life up on the cross. He allowed his blood to be shed on the cross so that you could be saved, so that you could be forgiven, so you would never have to go to a place called hell for all eternity. You would never have to go to a place of eternal torment eternal punishment, a place where the fire is never quenched. God went through hell on the cross for you, so you would never have to go to this place. He died for you. He suffered for you. He did this for you, not for himself. He was cut off for you. He took your punishment. He died in your place. He demonstrated his love for you, that as a man, he died up on the cross for all your sin, all the times that you've lied and stolen, and lusted, and hated, and taken his name in vain, and sex outside of marriage, and drunkenness, and all the sin that we've done. We've all sinned. If you say you haven't sinned, then you'd be telling a big fat lie, right? We've all sinned. The penalty for sin, folks, is hell. That's what the scripture says. The wages of sin is death. It's speaking about spiritual death. It's speaking about hell. That's what it's speaking about. A place that God doesn't want you to go to. This is bad news. The wages of sin is death. But there is good news. God became a man for you and died for you. Will you believe? Will you trust Christ as your savior? Will you escape God's wrath? You know, we're all in big trouble with God. We've all sinned against him. We all need Jesus Christ as our savior. Bible says that if you die in your sins without trusting Christ as your Savior, the Bible says you for sure will go to hell. That's what the scripture says. I didn't write it. I'm just warning you. I'm just, I'm just warning you and telling you, man, God's message is going forth. He died for you. He died on the cross for you. Do you have ears to hear? Do you have ears to hear what God is saying today? The Bible says that God is a spirit. God is a spirit. He's immaterial. Well, the Bible says God who is a spirit 2,000 years ago became material. God became flesh. God became a human being. And they touched him. They talked with him. 
They ate and they drank with him, and they crucified him up on a cross. And he willingly gave his life. Jesus said he was the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. That's what the Bible says. He is the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who takes away the sin of the world. Where did God take our sin away at? At the cross. He died on the cross right before he died. He said, it's finished. It's paid in full. God became a man. He lived a sinless life. He died for our sins. It's finished. It's paid in full. The Bible says he rose from the dead. If you will believe, you will be saved. If you trust Christ as your Savior, you will be saved. This might be the last time you get to hear this message, folks. Before you die. Praise God. Then I'll see you in heaven. 